Cooking doesn't need to be intimidating, and choosing what spices go into your dishes doesn't need to be a challenge. Alex Wilkins and Lonnie Romero from the Spice House are here in our Studio 41 kitchen with an easy to make soup perfect for this winter season. And I love this because you guys really make it as simple as possible for folks like me who may be a little <laughs> challenged in the kitchen. <laughs> Yeah, that's the idea behind uh, the new exact packs that we launched uh, last fall. We have a new line uh, of soups that's coming out. Today we're cooking up some Creole black bean soup. Can you all smell it over there? Oh, oh yeah, we smell, smell it all the way out in the hallway. It smells so good in here. Yeah. yeah. So the idea is uh, pre-measured spices, so it's easy. Um, the recipes are very simple and straightforward, so any any level of cook. And, and really the biggest benefit is that meal planning. Uh, saves you all that stress oh, yeah. from yeah. having to decide what to make and what to buy quick, easy, and, and delicious every all time. All right, Lonnie, so what do we have to do to make this Creole black bean soup? So first we start with the onions, bell peppers, and uh, Italian sausage. Oh, okay, see, I, all things that I love. Yes. And that's something that's pretty simple to come across too. And you might even have it in your in refrigerator your already. Yeah. Absolutely. And you use just a little olive oil, did I see to start? A little olive oil okay. to start. And then just mix that together, and then you're gonna add your sauce or your spice packet here. Oh. Which Alex has. Tear that open. The spice is right it, in. Oh wow. What are the spices that are in there? So this is a traditional, traditional Creole blend uh, that you that you taste in Louisiana cooking. So paprika, those nice warm spicy chilies, garlic, mm -hmm. a lot of herbs with oregano and thyme. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so then, we got the, the we got that recipe. What other kinds of soups and things can you make? Because yeah. you see, you have different kinds of spice packets over there. Yes. Uh, so the other soups that we rolled out in January or right at the beginning of the year, uh, we have an Indian curry that we mm -hmm. use for a pumpkin coconut cream yeah. soup. Uh, we have a spicy tortilla chicken soup. Oh, I love that. Uh, I love that great. one. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. See, that, yeah. yeah. And then more international flavor with an Ethiopian Berberay spice. Uh, we have a lentil stew that's all vegetarian. Oh, uh, very. So okay. that's, a, that's a nice window into that flavor. Oh, huh. Now, Lonnie, are these things that we can throw in a crock pot? I mean, I see you're kind of sauteing things in the pan first, but could you also throw it in a crock pot and leave it? Well, you could, but the idea is that this is going to be a, a soup that's going to be ready in 20 to 30 oh, minutes. Oh, it's that fast. Yeah, oh, so, yeah. so, okay. so that way you don't, you can just come home, make it, yeah. and eat, and it's, not have to think about it too Yeah, much. the time it takes you to actually get in the crock pot, you'd be done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you got a little sauteing there. Yeah, and so the next... Go ahead. Next, we're going to add our um, chicken broth. Okay, let me ask you a question really quick, because I get confused all the time. What is the difference between chicken broth chicken stock and bone broth. Lonnie, you want to take this one? <laughs> <laughs> or did well, I stump everybody? <laughs> chicken stock tends to be uh, um, more of a, um, with the bones. Got it, okay. And uh, the broth is made with the meat. Ah. And then bone broth is kind of a separate thing where Completely people just separate. like to drink. Just yeah, separate. well, and that is tastes disgusting. I'm That's sorry. Okay. I really, I, mean, I love it. You love yeah. bone broth? Was that an acquired taste or maybe it's your bone broth that you love? Because every bone broth I've had is just like, oh, Lord, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> well, for this, you're using chicken stock, right? Yes, okay. we're ch using chicken broth. Chicken broth, okay, see, okay. again. So then we're gonna, them add, we're, the same. we're gonna add the corn, frozen corn. And again, the, the ingredients that we use in all of the soups are a combination of fresh ingredients. Some are canned, uh, some are frozen, so, mm -hmm. uh, but all really available and easy to find in any grocery. Well, that's what I love about the, the frozen stuff, because they flash freeze it, so you can get it as nutritious if you can't get your hands on fresh. Definitely. All right. Then we're going to add some black beans. Okay. And Ooh, some good. diced tomatoes. Oh, love diced tomatoes. Yeah. They just make the soup. So delicious. And Spice House, you guys are just known around the city, but also internationally for your curation of all the spices yeah. that you come up with. We've been in business a long time. Uh, it's all about flavor, uh, primarily, and all about freshness. So uh, we have a manufacturing facility. We grind spices from whole. Um, everything's fresh. Everything everything uh, is sourced uh, as ethically, and, and we, we pick the highest uh, quality spices that we can find every time. And it's not just for entrees like this. I think I have a packet at home right now, which is for a mulled wine of sorts, too. So, I mean, beverages as well. Beverages as well. Speaking of beverages, uh, with our exact packs, we, uh, we also rolled out some hot cocoa packets. Ooh, um, fun. And the newest blend that we have in the company is a Mexican hot cocoa, so we use nice, freshly ground uh, cinnamon and some Ooh. nice warm chilies to mix That's in with fun. the chocolate. Very tasty. So real quick, two questions. For one, once you get that all mixed in, you let it simmer for about what, 20 minutes or so? Yep, 20 minutes. And then it's just ready. 
and then it's ready to ready to chomp on. Easy peasy. All right. What the other question I had was, I have spices, and I'm ashamed to say this. Some of them are like six or seven years old. Are they still good? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's an expiration date on there. Well, um, everything has an expiration yeah. date. Okay, Unless good it's point. whole nutmeg. Whole nutmeg will last you 50 years. Oh, okay. But, okay. Uh, if it's if it's in powdered form, or even if it's in whole form, if it's that old time to start fresh. So how long does it really, I mean, when you say it's it's no good, does it mean it doesn't have this flavor profile or it is going to cause Bad you to have you? botulism <laughs> or what? No, it, it won't make you sick, but the best thing to do is open it up and smell it. Uh, and if it doesn't smell strong, uh, and if it, if it doesn't look vibrant in color, uh, then it's probably past its prime. And Lonnie, you, no it's, taste. It's, it's, okay, no yeah, taste. No okay, taste. so I gotta go through and clean all that stuff I out. I know, I have them too. Oh my goodness. Okay, right, we're we gonna, gonna taste? Yeah, we're gonna taste yeah. this. We are out right. of time. We wanna make sure we get all the information for Spice House on the screen. There's the website so you guys can pick up those flavor packets as well. Nice and easy on a winter oh, day. Nice. Especially, Absolutely. today's Love actually it. nice, but we'll really be digging into this Fantastic. tomorrow. Yeah, there oh, you go. Wow. Awesome. Oh, Ooh, wow. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, and wonderful. Just gonna check this thank out. Thank you, Lonnie. All right, Ooh. Lonnie <laughs> and Alex, thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate thank you. it. Oh, this right. looks so good.